The future happens here first, yeah. California, where America's coming attraction. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah, $20 an hour. TIL, typical ignorant liberal. California's war against restaurants continued yesterday when Newsom's $20 an hour minimum wage went to effect for fast food chains. It affects big names like McDonald's, Starbucks, and Chipotle. Some of those businesses have already said they'll be forced to raise prices at their restaurants. The reality of paying more for fast food brought fast response. It's going to be more tougher for, for us to be able to afford a, a full meal for, a, in my case, a family of five or six. Another progressive policy that might sound good in theory, but the cost of living here is already out of control. So in practice, it's a complete nightmare. Joining me now, Chef Andrew Gruel, restaurant owner and founder of American Gravy Concepts. Andrew, now I thought this was supposed to, and I'm, I'm, I want to make sure everyone understands this, really only affect the big corporations. But how is this trickling down to the smaller groups? Yeah, great question. So this was marketed as a way in which the corporations were going to pay their fair share and help the workers. But in reality, this is actually going to help the corporation and it's going to hurt the workers and the small businesses, which those are kind of one and the same to some degree. So the way that that works, right, the corporations, the large multi-unit groups, they knew this was coming. So they're automating a lot of their standard operating. I saw programs. that. A lot of the robots are coming. Yeah, robots, They're already in McDonald's. Robots co-packing those $60,000 kiosks. Right. So they're laying workers off. So now all these workers are going to be losing their jobs. We saw Pizza Hut laid off hundreds of workers. And now you've got these small businesses who they're not required by law to pay the $20 an hour. But when more than, you know, 40 or 45 percent of all the restaurants in California are part of this fast food coalition that's targeted by this bill, well, everybody has to increase their floor in terms of paying that number. So they're, they're almost by proxy through this bill mandating everybody to pay this $20 an hour. And the small businesses, they don't have the disposable income or the capital to automate, right? So they're either going to have to increase their prices or close. And I see. So that's how they're being squeezed yep. by this. Now, some restaurant owners, Andrew, have already increased prices to offset what are these new labor costs. A McDonald's franchisee uh, owning, I guess, 18 restaurants said he's been forced to raise menu prices between 5% and 7% in response to the new law. Have you had to raise any of your prices? Well, we've had to raise our prices over the past year or two, just generally by virtue of the economy, but not specific to this bill because we already are paying our workers a significant percentage above what the existing minimum Because you can't is. get workers. Well, and, right? and, yeah, and for our business, you know, a lot of it is about our team members have been with us for so long. But here's the thing. Think about it this way. If I pay, say, 25% above the floor that's minimum wage, now I do have to increase 25% above this new minimum wage. And when I say it hurts workers is because it's not just the workers that are getting laid off, but when the prices in their local community goes up, well, then it hurts Everything them as a else. consumer. You don't have expendable uh, income, no. any, any extra income yeah. to get by. And if this was about helping the workers, well, number one, cut payroll taxes, which we know this is the highest in the country. The worst. And number two, right, don't make exemptions. They've got now they've exempted museums, airports, oh, yeah. amusement parks, bakeries. And furthermore, the, the, the living wage in Bakersfield, California, is $16 an hour. The living wage in San Francisco is $35 an hour. So why aren't they mandating $35 an hour in San Francisco? Andrew, I fear for what's going to happen here. But thank you for being yep. a relentless voice for sanity throughout all of this. Thanks so much. Great to see thank you in person. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.